across the business, planning for EVs is a really coordinated effort. They're a really big battery on wheels. And with the really big battery, requires more and more power to charge that battery up. Traditionally, our networks and our assets were built to typically manage one-way power flow and they were built to power homes. But with the demand requirements of EV charging, that's actually a step change in demand. No matter where we charge, the when is really important. So if you all of a sudden started plugging in your electric vehicle during that peak time, it would become harder and harder for the grid to handle that. And in specific areas of our network, we may need to augment our network to make sure that we can provide that electricity safely and reliably to you. But we want to find smarter and more efficient ways of doing that. And that's why we're working on some really exciting trials. The consumption that's, that's drawn, the load that electric vehicles place on the network is large. So it's, it's, it's much larger than a, a traditional appliance that you plug in and, and just runs. As a business, we have very little visibility into where electric vehicles are in our network. This presents a challenge for us to plan for whereabouts in our network. There needs to be investment. The EV detection competition with Deakin University was opened up to a range of students and the brief we gave was to develop some machine learning models to uncover the characteristics that were unique in the data of electric vehicles. Our solution sort of went down, try to think creatively, what are people actually doing? What should we be looking at? How are people thinking when they go home? to charge their cars and then try to apply that in our logic for detecting the vehicles. They were announcing fifth place and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, we didn't get it. Fourth place, okay, now we definitely didn't get it. Third place, second place, not our team, and we're like, ah, right, that's done. And then they announced us for first place and I remember I was like, this, this is what I did, like right in front of them. And they all started laughing, like we couldn't believe it. So we were very excited. One of the things that I think is most beneficial, both from a research perspective, uh, academic perspective, but also for our students, is to work on actual live problems. And then also to, to really feel not only that they're addressing the problem, but actually making a contribution to the broader societal issue that we're facing here was a fantastic opportunity. We're optimizing our customer connections processes. We're listening very closely to our customer feedback. We're partaking in a range of EV trials and we're preparing our future ready systems to ensure that we can enable a sustainable rollout of EVs. I could imagine in 20 years time, we'll be on the road and actually pointing out the petrol car the same way that we today point out the EV on the road. We're in for a really exciting future.